Hi everybody, it's Jan from the mountain and we're in a cloud. There's little bits of it just drifting by. It's the end of November, not quite the 1st of December, which is the deadline for Operation Cozy Christmas. This was the plaster that I had to take off the damp part of the window where water came in in the past and through the top. I've now, that's been sealed and I've put stucco on. We've been repainting the little sitting room area of my studio. This wall we've painted but then we had to scrape all the paint back because there was a damp stain and we've had the humidifier on non-stop. This wall, we also had the same problem with the damp water stain because water's got in there in the past. I really don't know if it's condensation or not. Um, but we've had to scrape off, or certainly we started scraping off, some of the old paint. Here is my actual studio and we've got the fire going. It's it's starting to come together. We haven't started painting here yet. I've tidied up a little bit. When we've, I've done above the door. This has taken shape with some stucco, and above the window here. And there's still a lot of mess and chaos. However, I can't wait to get it finished. Oh. So this going on forever. I thought it was just going to be a quick paint and freshen it up. I have had though some knitting therapy. I'm doing this in my North Hollander and silk mix that I spun up a little while ago and I want to make a berry or tamashanta. Um, so I've just got to make the skein into a nice cake. You've seen all this before. So I'll speed it up a little bit.
and there's my fantastic cake of yarn. I'll just take it away and start, I think. Well, after putting my equipment away, that is, to keep it out of the way, there's enough mess in my studio just now. Anyway, just get things put back in place and I should be able to go and cast on a little bit later on anyway. I just wanted to get this done. Fire looks so inviting, doesn't it? But well, as a rest from my decorating and for a bit of fun, I managed to get out to a place that only opens in the lead up to Christmas. It only sells Christmas decorations and it's called Christmas Landia. And here we've got some traditionally Italian models for the Christmas period. They make what's called a presepe. And the presepe is a, what we would probably call a crib or a nativity scene. A nativity scene, I think it, we would call it. And you can make your own. You can buy the components like moss for the roof and the ground and little trees and all the figures and characters. It's kind of a crude wooden building which represents the stable. And here you have the main characters. And here you have some more characters that you can add in. And they come in lots of different sizes. These are quite big. And they have tiny ones as well. As you can see these are smaller. Giuseppe here. And there's so many of them. You can have water features, trickling water wells. They're quite, quite fancy, some of them, and it's a traditional decoration, certainly in Italian homes. Um, when I lived in North York in, in Britain, we didn't really go in for a, a nativity scene in the same way as here some of the Christmas trees. There is lots of different colour combinations and I'm very traditional. I, I do like red and gold and this was the red and the gold section with greens, the traditional shades. That for me represents Christmas. Oh the nutcracker. Lots of different sized nutcracker dolls here. They look quite fierce and they do actually work but I don't know whether they would be strong enough to crack nuts. See? Looks a bit scary. <laughs> this one was, so oh, I can't see the price, 1990 euros. There's small ones too, as well as giant ones. All have fearsome teeth. It's 30, 30.90 or 36.90 is difficult to see. Lots of Christmas balls, Christmas mugs, plates. We got some similar mugs last year. I think it was a rounder, I think, to make our hot chocolate. a magical place. Christmas gnomes there you can see in the distance. Snowmen, lots of little things to hang. Sparkly Father Christmas, sparkly Santa. You can see lots and lots of Christmas baubles to hang off your tree. Some of them are modern, some of them are more traditional.
There's lots of giant baubles here as well. Look at those, they're so sparkly. I do like a bit of sparkle at Christmas time, don't you? Let me know in the comments below what you like. Do you have a particular colour scheme that you like to decorate your house with at Christmas time? These match my gloves, don't they? I've got snowflakes on my gloves. And after a long walk around a Christmas shop, nothing better than a nice hot chocolate with whipped cream on top. Another pause to my decorating was I had to go and deliver a cake to my son in Pisa because his friend was graduating and his friend absolutely loves my chocolate cake. So I made a special one, special delivery. I took it to Pisa. Unfortunately there was none for me. Just packed it in the bag here. You can actually get the recipe for this cake on a previous video that I've I've released. Off we go, down the road from the village, terrible weather, down our road, as you can see they're quite narrow and twisty, but we're used to it now, I went with my daughter, we had a, a bit of a shopping trip as well while we were out there. Colours are beautiful though at this time of year, can you see them? It's, it's a bit fuzzy because of the rain, but um, you've kind of... The trees normally go golden and brown in late summer actually, but it, it hung on this year for a bit longer. Here we are, we're down the hill now, we're just on our way. You know what this means, don't you? It means it's December the 1st when our Christmas decorations go up. We have Christmas decorations as far as the eye can see in this room. Animals are interested because these have all been in our cellar, packed away from last year. Did we manage to meet the deadline? No, we didn't. There's still so much to be done. This is next to the fireplace and I had to shore up some plaster. Uh, in fact I ended up taking that all off. I wanted to cover these pipes to tidy them up a little bit. And this wall here it looks as though it might just be a little paint job but look at the crack going all the way up there. That needs to be filled in. that I think it's going to be bad. Mr. Darcy, this is in our other part of the house, not my studio, is helping with the decorations. He's so cute. He's so cute. How long do you think our tree is going to last if Mr. Darcy gets in on the act? Okay, this wall again is not finished. I've been trying to even out some lumps and bumps caused when we had the um, electrics rewired and buried. It's a bit demoralizing because I thought I would have finished it easily by the first. I started a couple of weeks ago. But I, we've still got to paint this. I've got to do more stucco and it's it's exhausting actually because it's really heavy work. We've painted the wall behind my loom 
So that's looking better. Look at the mess. The, we've scraped off the damp stained paint from here and I'm just going to let the wall dry now. I've had to take, I took out some very old and rusty picture hooks because I want the stick on ones for the wall and there are some holes where some plaster fell off. So I'm just going to leave that for now. We've, we've had a dehumidifier going solidly for a couple of weeks. There's the wall that you saw at the beginning that I hacked all the plaster off. So that's looking better, it's not painted yet. And this is, we scraped off the paint here. And down here, this black bit, you wouldn't believe it, is actually a stone from the stone wall. The plaster is so thin on this bit. This wall has got to be done as well, like the other one, but it won't get done before Christmas. Look at my lovely studio, I could cry. There's this mess everywhere. This needs painting. I've been trying to even up the wall and the lumps and the bumps. So bear in mind, everybody, it's December the 1st today. This is all supposed to have been done. But it just turned out to be such a big job. I'm okay with round the windows, but it's all the lumps and bumps from where the house was wired. I've got to go around the door here. That needs to come off that plaster. And to the left of the fireplace, I've done that. That needs just to be smoothed and painted. I think it looks so nice when it's done. I really do. But I think another week yet, at least. Never underestimate the time it's going to take to do a job because it nearly always takes twice or three times as long as you thought. I have been working flat out. I, I haven't been just doing an hour here and there. I've been putting in nine hour days on this. The problem as well is, as you probably see, it's all the, the furniture and clutter that I have in my studio that um, you have to rearrange the room because I like to tidy up of an evening when I finish. Everything has to be rearranged every time I come to do some work and then when I start, I have to take everything out and then put it all back again in the evening. I've had to move plants, I've had to bring in plants from the outside because it's been quite cold. Ugh, it's just, it's gonna be so good when it's finished. Okay, 2nd of December, and where are we with our decorations? Let's go and have a look. This is the part of the studio that we've managed to finish up until now. We got a lot of painting done. My daughter has put some lights in the tree. Doesn't it look cute though? It's so cosy. Down the rustic stairs, we've got the garland and some lights. The tree looks amazing. This is a fantastic bargain at Ikea, in the Angelo, where they have all the bargains. It's my wall. It doesn't look too bad. And, oh, you can't see, can you? But we painted this wall. This was the wall that needed painting yesterday. The studio. We'll go and see in a moment. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Let's see, oh, more mess. Second of December, guys, and what have we got? We have a painted wall. We have plaster on that damp area that I had to pull off, revealing a gorgeous stone wall behind. So you know what, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that as a stone wall. We haven't, I've covered over the pipe here, but we have, this hasn't actually been painted. This is going to be painted tomorrow. As, it's, as you can see, it's quite dark now. Rest of the studio, no more, no more improvements. I'll start to panic soon, I think.
I know it'll look good though. The important thing is to keep going. This looks real nice. Next to my loom. I'm pleased with this room. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you like the video, please click the like button and you'll really help me if you subscribe to my channel. I can bring you better and more videos about rustic life here in Italy. See you next time.